Beautiful. So can we pick up from here or do you, is there, Lisa, do you see any problem with it not having been recorded, us accepting the consent agenda? I don't, this is Lisa, I don't believe that is a potential problem at all, but if you wanted to review it, um, that the consent agenda was approved with minor corrections to the March 29th transcript and the April 5th meeting minutes, we can make that note right now. Hey, Steve, it's Council Gary. Hey, it just kick me and Scott back out. Whatever you did when you went to record, it's back up to remote meeting. meeting. Okay. Um, so you cannot see us or anything? Is that what you're well, saying, Mike? It's just, yeah, it's back up to the password I asked you about. Okay. Um, how did you get on in the first place? Where did you... Did you put that password in and it didn't work or it worked? I imagine it was either you or the, one of the IT guys that pumped it in. Okay, uh, just give me one second here. We'll uh, we'll see if Chris can, uh, can take care of that. Mike, but you can hear me right now, correct? Yeah, I can hear. I just don't have any screen. I just have the, sure. the screen saver. That's all. We just see a, a pond or a quarry with some rocks in it. Sure. Go out and come back in. Now it says remote meeting. Yep, Chris is fixing it right now. You just got to accept the the remote meeting. All right. I apologize for this, guys. It, we actually are without an IT guy for a couple of weeks here. So we're, we're kind of asking a favor from our previous IT director. So there's a little more confusion than usual. Yeah, it looks like everything's back up, Steve. Okay, excellent. So with that being said and the recording, um, I'm going to, um, let's, uh, uh, I'm just gonna reiterate what was approved in the consent agenda here. Uh, the consent agenda was approved with corrections that were stated by Councillor Hurst, and those uh, corrections were made to the special town council meeting minutes of March 29th, 2021, and to the March 29th, 2021 transcript, transcript. record of the hearing. So that's just a recap of what was not recorded previously, um, and that motion passed uh, five to zero. Thank you. So moving on from there, we'll move forward here. Um, Oh, under old business, discuss proposed zoning ordinance amendment from Tom and Cynthia Skulko. Petition for an amendment to the Hopkinton zoning ordinance, including the farm viability ordinance, chapter 246, entitled Non-Residential Photovoltaic Energy Systems, PSES. Filed by Thomas and Cynthia Skulko, 192 Woodville Road, Hopkinton, RI, 02833. And 132 East 95th Street, New York, New York, following the completion and closing of this public hearing on March 29th, 2021. Okay, up first, um, A, uh, discuss and consider a vote on a motion to either approve or reject an amendment to Chapter 134 Zoning Ordinance, Section 5, the District Use Table. Is there any discussion? Yeah council, yeah, council Chair, this is Council Gary. Yes, sir. I have a question for the SCOCO's attorney. Yes, go ahead, sir. If the, um, I know it's a little ahead of it, Steve. I know we want to talk about the possible modification of the Farm Viability Act, but have they given any consideration to removing the Farm Viability Ordinance off this? So, uh, re removing the Farm Viability Act from the proposal? Yes. Um, you know, I kind of I kind of look at it at this point that um, it's really more the council's um, ordinance at this point. So 
it really any anything that could garner the three votes to get it passed um you know we'd certainly consider and and you know obviously we've been agreeable to a lot of changes up to this point um but the, the one thing that i would note is that um because the public hearing was closed um anything further any further changes um and i defer to your solicitor's opinion on that but i think any further changes would probably require you to open up the public comment period again and and uh take public comment so okay um steve did you have any comment on that or i mean that's i mean we're we're i mean the order we're going in right, right now i'm 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 addressing number i mean uh, letter a here um the it was for discussion on consider and vote on a motion to either approve or reject an amendment to chapter 134 of the zoning ordinance section 5 district use table so um that is being uh, voted on separately here um i i think we should move forward with that before we uh consider any other conversation on anything else uh matter uh councilman hurst uh i just want to make sure it is clear that the farmland viability section has not been removed from A. Scott, if you look. Yes, yeah, Sharon. I'm just saying it was never there. It's yeah, it's not, not there. The... Yeah. But it impacts uh, uh, what's considered farmland in town now, whether it's specifically mentioned or not. Scott, what we are discussing right now and considering and possibly voting on is the uh, amendment to chapter 134 of the zoning ordinance section 5 district use table so that's that's what the discussion on, is on if you would like to participate in that discussion i would welcome it the district use table uh, considers all land within the town yes sir. correct you have a copy of the um of it scott so i'm sure you're well aware of uh of what it entails. Uh, I'm just waiting for debate. I pretty much know how I'm going to vote, but I'll listen to what other people have to say. Thank you. Sure. Council President, uh, Council Marva here. Yes, go ahead, sir. I, I'd like to um, make a motion to approve the amendment to Chapter 134 Zoning Ordinance, Section 5 District Use Table. Do I have a second? This is Sharon Davis. I second it. Um, I would like, um, so all in favor? I think you should ask a contrary opinions uh, or any other. Well, it's, okay, Scott, do you have any contrary opinion? I, I don't. I, I'm proceeding to vote, but I think Councilor Gary might want to say something. I'm not sure. No, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay, with that being said, um, I have a, a, a motion. I have a second. Um, now I'm asking uh, who's in favor. Marvel, aye. Davis, aye. Moffitt, aye. Gary, no. Chris, no. Okay, uh, motion passes. Up next, discussion. Discuss, consider, and vote on a motion to either approve or reject an amendment to Chapter 247 farm viability ordinance slash farm based photovoltaic solar energy systems. Is there any discussion? I'll make a motion that we, uh, we vote to approve uh, the amendment to chapter 247 farm viability ordinance farm based photovoltaic solar energy system. Mr. President, Council Gary, I second his motion. All in favor? First, aye. Gary, aye. Marvel, aye. Davis, aye. Moffat, aye. Motion passes. Up next, discuss, consider, and vote on a motion to either approve or reject an amendment to Chapter 246 non-residential photovoltaic solar energy systems. 
Is there any discussion? Steve? Yes, Sharon. I make a motion to uh, approve amendment to Chapter 246 non-residential photovoltaic solar energy system. This is Councilman Marvel. I uh, second that. Okay. Um, all in favor? Marvel, aye. David, uh, David Moffitt, aye. Moffitt, aye. Rush, no. Gary, no. Okay, motion passes. Up next, discuss, consider, and vote on a motion to reopen the public hearing in order to consider amendments to the Farm Viability Ordinance. Is there any discussion? Uh, Councilman Hurst, go ahead, Sharon. I didn't say anything. Okay, uh, Councilman Hurst, uh, Councilor Hurst, I make a motion that we reopen the public hearing in order to consider amendments to the farm viability ordinance. And I would like to say that my displeasure at Councilor Marvel, uh, the Conservation Commission in December apparently uh, had some feelings about it that weren't uh, transmitted to the town council. And I think the public should know that. Thank you. Council Chair, I yes, second Hessen Hurst's uh, motion. All in favor to uh, reopen the public hearing in order to consider amendments to the Farm Viability Ordinance? First, aye. Geary, aye. Davis, no. Moffitt, no. Marvel, no. Motion does not pass. Okay. Up next, new business, boards and commissions. Discuss, consider, and possibly vote to reappoint Jeffrey Hall to the Juvenile Hearing Board. I make a motion that Jeffrey Hall be reappointed to the Juvenile Hearing Board. This is Davis, I second it. All in favor? First, aye. Davis, aye. Moffat, aye. Marvel, aye. <clears throat> The motion passes. Jeffrey Hall is uh, reappointed to the Juvenile Hearing Board. And it, could somebody pass on to Mr. Hall? He left his ethics form here on the desk at Town Hall, at Town Council Chambers. Hello. Hello. Hold on one second, Lisa. I'm, I'm trying to get my camera back on here. Hey, Lisa, it's Mike. Can I slide uh, Jeffrey Hall's ethics yes. under your door? Yes. All right, I'm going to do that. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Um, up next is the uh, public forum. If you wish to speak, please raise your hand. If you are um, using a phone, it is uh, star six to raise your hand and star star nine to um, to un unmute yourself. I'm sorry. It is star nine to raise your hand, star six to unmute yourself. Oh, Sharon, I, I see you have your hand up, but I'm sure you, you that's not on purpose. Steve, what was the thing? No. I had to get? What was the question, Steve? Uh, it's a public forum. Oh, I'm sorry. If anyone would like to speak, please hit. I've, I've done this a million times, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, please raise your hand by hitting star nine and star six to unmute yourself. Okay. All right. I'm not seeing any hands raised at all. Uh, Mr. Um, President. Yes, like Scott. 
make a motion to adjourn in memory of uh, Hazel Wood, Marjorie M. Friel, Wolfgang Richter, and Georgie West. Do I have a second? Council President, Council Gary, second. Excellent. All in favor? First, aye. Moffat, aye. Marvel, aye. Aye. Excellent. Motion passes. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night.